as you flip the page towards game week for you, you know, mm -hmm. how does the excitement and just the, the whole energy, the vibe, how does that increase for you? Mm -hmm. Oh, it increases each and every day. I mean, going into my fourth year now, uh, getting ready for the first game against the Arizona Cardinals, who is a really, really good team. Uh, they got really a lot of good, great athletes on uh, both sides of the field. And, you know, it just continues, continues to try to get more and more and more exciting as the days go by. So getting really, really excited. You know, fast switch quarterback like you know Kyler Murray, who can really test the edges and whatnot. Just what kind of challenges does he mm -hmm. pose? Um, you know, for for defenses. I mean, obviously, for one is his legs. I mean, his ab ability to be able to stretch plays and get out of the pocket. Um, his elusiveness is very, very um, impressive. Seeing how he breaks tackles and gets yards after the ball. Um, you know, he kind of reminds me of a, guard, a guy like Lamar Jackson. He's not as as tall or as big as him, but he's still able to do and be as effective as Lamar Jackson, just just being a little smaller. You got a lot of new faces on this defense, I guess, young and, and maybe some older. How mm -hmm. how much are you looking forward just to kind of see how it all comes together starting mm -hmm. Sunday? Uh, you know, when you got those two dynamics, you know, they can make you very dangerous. You got a lot of youth on the field, guys are – you know, who are hungry, who want to, you know, make a big impact early on. And then you got older guys who's been in the game and made big plays and just given as much leadership and knowledge to those young guys as much as possible. And they know how to play games like this, especially big games going into, you know, first game of the season. So, um, you know, both of those dynamics can make you very dangerous. If this, if this defense functions like it should, mm -hmm. should you lead the team in tackles again like you did two years ago? Hey, man, that's always the plan, man. You know, when you're playing linebacker, they, they, you know, they pay you to make, make plays like that and to make tackles. So hopefully if I'm able to do that and, you know, get to the ball like I normally do, you know, those things will happen. Byard and, Byard and Hooker have both said that you guys want to be more aggressive this mm -hmm. year as a defense. What does that look like? What are some mm -hmm. of the things that we can see and know, mm -hmm. hey, that's more aggressive? Um... To be honest with you, I would think just, you know, overall from each and every player, um, making more splash plays, I would say, too. Um, you know, they, we always constantly talk about the turnover game. Um, the team who has the most turnovers always normally wins the game. So that's the biggest thing for us, to make more splash plays, Spl plays that are, are involved in getting the ball out, um, you know, getting INTs, um, you know, if it's not getting the ball out, at least let it be, you know, tackle for losses or something like that. You know, you want to try to get a team like this third and long as much as possible. I mean, they got guys like D-Hop, you know, uh, Green uh, on the opposite side, and you got a guy like K-1. You know, those those are, those are guys can stretch the ball. Just talking about how much more comfortable you are mm -hmm. schematically and understanding the defense, does a willingness to take those risks come mm -hmm. with that? conceptual understanding? Oh, yeah. It definitely always comes down conceptually. Um, you want to do what's best defensively where guys can play fast. Um, you know, anytime you wanna, you, you're want you thinking a little bit too much than what you're supposed to do, it allows you to be a lot slower in your play. Um, so schematically, man, I think that's the biggest thing, making sure that everybody knows what they got to do, and then that way everybody can make plays and, you know, like I said, make splash plays. What's the one thing you feel like you need to do better mm -hmm. this year? Mm -hmm. um, for me, I would say just continue to just – be even better as a leader. Um, you know, it's a long season. Um, guys are going to be excited to play the first half of the season. Um, guys may be even excited to play even towards the mid part of the season. But, um, you know, on that back end of the season, man, it's it's brutal. You know, you're hurting, you're injured. You know, guys, you know, not feeling as good as they, they, they should or want to feel. And for me, I would say just continue to be a better leader um, going into those – tougher games going into the back end of the season when you really need that type of leadership, I think that's when, you know, things like that will come into play. What about on the field, Rashawn? Mm -hmm. Just your, your game on the field. Mm -hmm. what, what, what are, you, are you focused on mm -hmm. those one thing? Oh, for me, I would say even making more splash plays, like I was just saying. Um, get more balls out, get more INTs. Um, and then, number one, just, you know, doing what I'm always good at, and that's, that's stopping the run, too. So, um, doing all of those things incorporated individually for me, I think that'll definitely help the defense and also not only that, help the team as well. That Back communication the part of the thing, that's something just it continues to come up. Mm -hmm. Obviously it has to get better as a leader and a guy who the defense like mm -hmm. kind of flows through. How mm -hmm. can you make that communication better and what are you gonna do to Um really really before the even ball even snaps, you know, there's a list of reminders I even go through in my head, um, as a linebacker knowing and telling guys, you know, these are things we can see. These are things that, you know, you might get in this formation. 
And, you know, being a vocal guy like your know, linebacker, like you're supposed to be, you know, you try to give your guys as many, you know, opportunities to make plays as possible. Um, and going through those things in my head and then, you know, verbally saying it to the guys before the play happens, you know, you try to give those guys um, at least a, some type of awareness of, you know, what could possibly happen. So that's kind of the biggest thing I've been really, really working on, knowing more things, uh, being more aware, um, and not only putting myself in position to make plays, but also playing, helping other guys uh, in a position to make bigger plays because, you know, conceptually, I'm growing and growing each and every year, knowing more and more and more about defense and uh, offensive stuff. So I would say that. That back end of the season is going to be a little longer this year. Yeah. You think you think the 17th game is going to feel like a lot? It could be. You know, um, you know, you talk you, once you add in, you know, an extra full fledged game where it's real and it, and it counts. You know, who's to say? You know, but you know, all I can say right now, a guy that's going into his fourth year, I played, had been blessed to be, you know, as healthy as I, I have and been able to play as many games as I have. Um, you know, going into that back end of the season is, is where teams, you know, earn that spot, you know, into that, that, that playoff type of conversation. And, you know, you, and it's really more of about, you know, a health thing really on the back end of the season. How many guys can you have healthy? Um, you know, you could talk about talent, you could talk about schematics and all of those things, but if you don't have the guys on the field to play, you know, none of that can happen. To, I guess some of the, the first year guys about the speed of the game in week one, and we obviously played Alabama, mm -hmm. so kind of used to fast play, but was it an adjustment for you, mm -hmm. eye opener for you, week one mm -hmm. uh, NFL season as a rookie? Oh, no doubt. You, you, it's more about getting the jitters out, understanding that, you know, some of the things that you were doing in college are going to be the, some, some of the same things you're going to do in, in, in the NFL. Um, just knowing that the, the lines and the numbers on the field never change, they're all the same. Um, and then also understand it too, you know, give yourself a lot more pace than, than usual, uh, just because, you know, not only that you're schematically learning things and conceptually learning things, but you're also doing it, you know, by physically doing it, by going out there and actually getting the reps. So those are the two things that you want to do, you know, coming in as a rookie and understanding, you know, things might not happen immediately as you want it to happen, but as you keep working and, you know, constantly get more reps and more gains up under your belt, things become a lot slower. Mm -hmm. Monty, right so far, and how he's developed through through camp. Uh, I think uh, Monty has developed really, really good. Um, you know, another young guy coming out of uh, Georgia, um, play uh, play middle linebacker just like me, and you know, always good to have another SEC guy because I know what type of caliber ball he plays. I know who he played up under, so I know how he he gets coached. So. Um, just having a guy like that, I always tell him, you know, just like I say, man, just understanding that, you know, it's a lot of stuff that's flying by you, you know, a lot of schematics, a lot of things, you know, as far as pressure, you know, going into your first NFL game, you know, you kind of want to, you know, just hone in on the things you know you're good at, hone, on, hone in on the things that you know that prepare you for the first game of the season. And really just play ball, man, play loose out there. And knowing that, you know, you're young, you can make mistakes, it's okay, but at the same time, you know, learn from them, don't make the same mistake twice and just play ball, play fast.